Hi everybody, I'm Mike Dunstan with your hourly 7 p.m. CBS 46 coronavirus update. Well, the Georgia Department of Health putting out new numbers just moments ago. Right now, let's get you up to the minute. There are more than 2,400 confirmed cases of the virus in our state. Fulton County has the most cases with nearly 400. The virus has killed 79 people here in Georgia. That's 10 more deaths since noon today. Across the globe, the number of confirmed cases is more than 600,000. DeKalb County has a stay at home order going in effect at 9 o'clock tonight. That means everybody in DeKalb County has to stay home unless you're getting food, medical supplies or other essential services. Gwinnett County is also ordering families to stay home. Now, earlier this week, Cobb County issued that same order. Dozens of cities, including Atlanta, are taking similar measures. And right here in Atlanta, testing is underway on a possible vaccine for the virus. Emory's Vaccine and Treatment Evaluation Unit is taking part in a clinical trial. The goal is to see if the vaccine is safe and to figure out how much it stimulates the immune system. If the vaccine is found to be safe, future studies will determine whether it could prevent infection. Today, sad news out of Illinois. The governor there saying an infant who tested positive for the virus has died. A child is the first known infant death in our country because of the virus. Tonight, President Trump says he is considering quarantining parts of New York and New Jersey and Connecticut for a short time to stop the coronavirus from spreading to other states. President Trump says the order would not affect truckers passing through those states. He says he will make a decision on the quarantine very soon. However, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is pushing back on that idea. Well, the largest stimulus bill in U.S. history now law. That means in the next few weeks, tens of millions of working Americans will be getting checks in the mail. The amount of money all depends on your 2018 or 2019 tax return. If you would like to calculate your stimulus payment, check out the CBS 46 app. We do have a calculator set up to make things easy for you. You can find all of these updates and more on the CBS 46 streaming app available for download. I'm Mike Dunstan wishing you a safe, happy and healthy Saturday. Join us in about an hour for the 8 o'clock update.